Hello everybody, I'm Paul Plummer. Welcome back to PXP Endurance. Today I want to talk to you about um, training. I want to talk to you about the different energy systems and so forth. This can be really complex, it doesn't need to be. Uh, people are going to throw around a lot of words, uh, you know, aerobic, anaerobic, uh, aerobic glycolysis, I can't even say that word. Um, but there's a lot of different things that happen in this and, and I want to just break it down more from a practical side of what it means. We're uh, not digging down into deep physiology, but we'll still understand those concepts, I hope. So here it goes. So the, the three energy system, one is very explosive. Um, 10 to 15 seconds, you do something as hard and powerful as fast as you can, that's one energy system. It's using everything that's right there, readily available in that cell, and then it depletes it very fast. The second one is kind of a mid-range. It, it lasts about a minute and a half, uh, up to a minute and a half, uh, two minutes. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds for it to to really kick in and start burning, but then it burns for a good you know, a minute and a half, 90 seconds to 120 seconds, a minute and a half to two minutes. And that's a, another solid um, energy system. And then you get one that um, is aerobic system, and it starts about that minute, 90 seconds, two minutes, and then just keeps burning on and on and on, uh, obviously using oxygen, thus aerobic uh, energy system, it uses oxygen as its fuel source to rebuild and, and replenish the stuff in the cells. So let's talk about a little bit more on the practical side. What does this really mean? And I hope this doesn't give too much into my, my childhood and so forth, but growing up, I uh, grew up on a farm out in the country, and so we had a um, uh, brush that we needed to burn. And sometimes we would have gas, we'd have kerosene, we had have oil, and, and I noticed something about those different uh, chemicals, those different uh, fuels of what would happen. If we put gas on the fire and threw a match, it blew up really fast. It, it was a big fireball and it was really quick, and then it went out right away. It was, it's very explosive, very powerful. That's that first energy system we talk about. There's, there's not a whole lot to it. It just, it's a big, nice spark. It, it, it looks pretty, it gives you that whoosh, and a hard, quick, intense, but it's gone in a few seconds. Kerosene takes a little bit to get lit. It lights pretty fast, but it takes a little bit to get lit. It doesn't have that big, powerful effect. It doesn't blow up on you, and it burns for a period of time, but it burns uh, pretty readily. It burns fairly quickly, not as fast as gas, but it, it burns and then it goes out to kind of like that middle energy system that uh, is a, a mixed piece. It has some uh, uh, explosive pieces to it. It doesn't blow up on you, but it, it, it will burn, ignite, it'll get going, and then it kind of uh, fizzles out after 90 seconds, two minutes, someplace in that vicinity. And then the third is oil. I mean, it, oil takes a long time to get going. You have to kind of hold some stuff to it. You've got to get it burning, but it'll burn slow. It burns a really long time and that's, that's that aerobic energy system. So if you can use those three fuels um, from my youth and childhood, you know, kind of playing on the farm uh, at those times, um, it kind of gives you a perspective of what the energy, what those energy systems do. Most of us need the, the aerobic energy system. We need most of it. We need to teach the, the body how to really utilize oxygen, you know, whether it's our uh, efficiency of our heart, whether it's the efficiency of uh, the gas exchange in our lungs, well, that's all the way down to the cells and trying to get uh, that fuel substrate to, to be generated over and over and over again. That needs to be a, a big majority of your uh, workout. A lot of us like to go work out and we want to get hard and tense and sweaty. And that means that we've really done a lot of, uh, quote, good work. We worked hard, but sometimes we're not doing all that we could if we don't burn in the oil, if we don't go slow enough, if we don't let it burn over a long period of time. So that's your zone two. Yeah, I like using that 70, 80% of a heart rate range and, and keeping the heart rate there. That's a, a good barometer of, of whether you're doing that fat burning, getting the oxygen involved. Um, I really think about two thirds of all your training needs to be in that zone. The kerosene, okay, if we're gonna think about the kerosene piece, this is when we're doing longer intervals, um, up to a couple minutes. Uh, sometimes we do them a little longer just to get a little, um, extra tension on that burn, try to push into those places. But when you're doing uh, running repeats, you're doing quarter repeats, you're doing, uh, some of you are fast enough to do 600 repeats. Some of us are gonna be doing um, 300 yard intervals in that 90 seconds, depending on what our paces are. But again, we're going as a good intensity, we're pushing really hard, but we're only gonna last about that 90 seconds. And that's that kerosene place. We wanna have those type of workouts, and, and maybe that's about, I don't know, there's a, if we use 65%, you know, let's use 20%, um, maybe up to 25% in this kerosene burn, you know, some of the shorter uh, middle 
uh, ranged interval pieces. And then the last percentage, and if we, could, if we stayed with those, and, and it really depends on where you're at in your season, where you're at in your training, you know, preseason, uh, in a peak season, in a recovery place of, of really what your emphasis is, and, and those percentages fluctuate and change. But you know, this is gonna be a smaller percentage. This is 10 to 15% of, of your volume in a given period of time, whether that's a week or a month, however you set your stuff up. But this is a hard, powerful, fast burst stuff where maybe you're gonna sprint and do 100. Maybe you're gonna sprint and try to last into a 200 or, or longer. Do really hard, intense, very powerful, um, depleting those muscles. We try to do some of that stuff in class where, where, where we deplete the muscles real quick and then try to get you to have some sort of aerobic piece on top of that. Uh, whether it's a, a longer set of reps or a longer duration of, of some activity. Whether you, and, and you can do that on the bike, you can do that on a swim, you can do that on your run, you can do it in strength training. But again, trying to get all three of those uh, components in about that ratio. So biggest piece of you is that foundation, the aerobic piece. Now, I like about 65% if we're gonna just uh, talk about things in general. And there's nothing set in stone about that. The about 25%, so it's gonna take us up to about 90% now, um, is that that 25%, the total will be 90. That 25% is our short, uh, middle distance, if you will, uh, duration, intense pieces, uh, some repeats, some thresholds, uh, but stuff that um, you're not sprinting, but you're going at a really hard pace, as a, an intense pace, but you are able to do that for, you know, like I said, up to two minutes. And then about 10% of your time is in the, what we call the fun stuff. Go out and show off on your speed and your cadence and how high you can get your watts up if you're in the, if you're on a bike or how uh, much weight you can lift one or two times and to get it depleted or how fast you can do that 25 or how fast you can do that 50 depending on how fast you are obviously in those places. <clears throat> but those three energy systems really need to be addressed in all three sports that you do or all the different activities that you do if you're gonna build a well-rounded fitness, uh, strong base preventative program. A lot of adjectives there. But it, if we, as we look at those energy systems and we look at building an athlete, most of the time we'll spend t time on the one that we are better at. And we're better at some, some of us are great at just going out and hitting zone two and just running. We can go all day long and we like that, we're comfortable. So we do that and that's 100% of our volume. We do zone two. You're missing a component to get some power, to get some speed. If you don't work on the kerosene, if you don't work on the gas, if you don't work on the explosive side of things. But again, doing too much of that, if all you do is speed work, if all you do is hard, intense stuff, if all you're doing is getting the heart rate up as high as you can for as long as you can and just holding it there, you're missing a big piece of your foundation, which would then be that oil burn or that aerobic uh, place. I hope this helps make some sort of sense that obviously we didn't get into the sciencey stuff of it in terms of uh, fancy words and that sort of thing, but the concept is what is important. Can you apply these things to your world as you're giving, as you're given training, as you're uh, doing different workouts? Can you see what the intent is?